Today I'm joined by Nick Dembski of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and this year's Canadian Player of the Year. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. No worries. Winning back-to-back -back Grey Cups in your hometown and being named Canadian Player of the Year, what does this mean to you? I mean, uh, all the accolades, you know, they def definitely mean a lot, but, you know, you know, the only goal that I had was to go and, and, and you know, help my team win a Grey Cup and, uh, you know, kind of see everything fall into fruition and, and just, you know, fall into place. It, it, it meant the world to me. And then, you know, obviously not even thinking about the individual accolades, you know, all those kind of, you know, hit me as well. And, you know, I, I got pretty emotional <laughs> uh, after we won the Grey Cup, but, it was kind of just for that reason. I mean, uh, you know, just to know that this was a special team and, and you know, I played a big role in, in, in this team's success, you know, it, it meant the world to me. Nick, walk me through the moment going through your head when you got that pass from Kolaros and what can only be determined as the Grey Cup turning point. Hamilton's defense, they did a good job against uh, against me, at least. I mean, a, a lot of my uh, the teammates made a lot of big plays, but against me, I really felt like there's nothing really get, getting going with me. So to, to make that play for my team, I mean, that, that you know, it's <laughs> I don't even have words for that play. You know, I still think about it, uh, you know, just kind of stopping on a dime and just, and just you know, seeing the goal line, uh, you know, it was, uh, I, I can remember that play, you know, from uh, start to finish already. Growing up and playing professional football in Winnipeg, what impacts do you hope this has on local kids? That's that's part of the reason I work so hard. I mean, I I, uh, I do coaching in the off season with recruit ready as well. So, you know, a couple of those kids, you know, they'd always message me throughout the season. You know, uh, I remember one time I fumbled and, and and a guy, you know, he messaged me right away and it's like, you know, just to know that all these guys are watching me, you know, watching my every move. So, you know, it's definitely motivating for me to to kind of you know keep trying to raise the bar for the next generation in Winnipeg. Now, you, Andrew, and Brady all went to the same high school. How much of that do you contribute to the camaraderie that was felt on this team this year? We kind of had that last year as well, but, you know, just to kind of build off of it and, uh, you know, kind of take all of our games to the next level. Um, I mean, obviously, Andrew had some injury problems this year, but then that kind of opened the door for Brady to come in and, and have the success that he did. So, you know, it's kind of funny how everything works out that way. But, uh, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, back to back with those guys, you know, it's definitely a crazy story all coming from a part. Winning back to back championships in a league like the CFL is very uncommon. So what do you attribute the team's success to? camaraderie honestly like I could really say this team was a family and uh that's a other reason why you know I got a little emotional after the game is just because you know it's it's like you know I might not be on this stage with, with these guys again so you know um yeah every every everybody kind of put their ego you know away as soon as they walked in the locker room and just you know knew what they had to do to contribute to this team so you know everybody played a big role in winning this great cup and, and I mean that's even people that you know you didn't even see on the field so you know it just it just kind of speaks volume about you know this organization and who they bring in here. Now you've proven Winnipeg is a football city through and through and you are only one of several players that isn't a free agent next year what does this team look like? I honestly don't know I mean uh, I know a lot of people love playing in this city um, you know, I know, I know that O'Shea is something that a lot of people want to play for as well. So, you know, I, I don't know. Everybody wants to get the raise, obviously, you know, going back to back with basically the same team. So, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some pieces, um, leaving here and there, but, you know, I, I really, I really do hope and, and think also that we're going to get a lot of the team back. Winning back to back championships, winning with your hometown team or winning Canadian player of the year, which is the best accolade back to back for sure. Back to back. I mean, you know, there's not there's really not many people that can say that, you know, uh, who played in the Canadian Football League. So, I mean, you know, there's a lot of people every every year. Somebody gets named, uh, you know, all stars every year. Somebody gets named the Canadian player of the year. But not a lot of people can say that they went back to back in the same organization. So that's definitely takes the toll on all of them. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy New Year, too. Happy New Year and all the best in the upcoming season.